Hi, welcome to our Afi Gimbal YouTube channel. In this video, I will be reviewing Afi A5 3X's handheld gimbal for action cameras, especially for GoPro action cameras. And as you see here, our GoPro Hero 6 action camera is attached to our gimbal. Before getting started to see the modes of our gimbal, let's see what is inside the box. This is our box. English user manual first. Afi guarantee certificate, silica gels, charging cable, batteries. There are two batteries and they are 18,350 type batteries with 900 milliamps power. Counterweight, battery charger, and finally, here is our gimbal for GoPro action cameras. This part is battery holder. Let's remove the battery cover to insert the batteries here. Batteries go in like this. This whole battery holder can also be removed from the gimbal itself, just like this. Next, we need to attach this counterweight to our AFA5 gimbal to balance our GoPro. Now, let's connect our Hero 6 action camera to our AFA5 gimbal. Place the gimbal like that and then move it like this and then connect the camera like that use this the other one here make sure it is not on the power button and now we have connected our Hero 6 action camera to our gimbal in this FEA5 gimbal, there are only two control buttons. This white button is the function button and the mode button, and this black button is the power button. We have inserted the batteries and now we are ready to use our gimbal. But before starting to use our gimbal, we need to see if there is any angle deviation from the horizontal line. If there is any angle deviation, we need to calibrate our gimbal. In order to have a perfect calibration, first thing to do is to place our gimbal vertically on a flat surface like this. In order to start calibration, first we need to press function button and then power button. Keep it a few seconds and then loosen power button. When the LED light flashes three times like that, it is in calibration mode. Just observe the lights like that a few seconds. When the light light becomes constant flashing like that, that means calibration is successful. Now we can turn off our gimbal and then restart again. So when we turn on our gimbal again, this is now calibrated gimbal. And now let's see the modes of our gimbal. When we first power on our gimbal, I will power on now. The gimbal will be in semi-following mode. In semi-following mode, as you see, the gimbal will not move upwards or downwards, but it will move to, to the right and to the left, as you see here. This is called semi-following mode. It will only move to the right and to the left. When I press the function button again, it will be locked. All axes will be locked. As you see, when I was in this direction, the axes are locked and the gimbal is only in this direction. It is not moving to any direction, either to the right or to the left. It's not moving to any direction. When I press the function button again, now all axes are unlocked. In this mode, as you see, the gimbal is moving to all the directions, either to downwards or upwards or to the right or to the left because all axes are unlocked AFI A5 gimbal has also another mode which is called inverting mode inverting mode only works when the gimbal is in all following mode now our gimbal is in all following mode so when I invert the gimbal like this it will be in inverting mode in inverting mode it also moves to all the directions. And now let's see some sample videos taken by using our gimbal with our GoPro Hero 6 action camera.
now I am using all following mode in fish board. And now I will use inverting mode. I hope you like our APA5 3Xs handheld gimbal video review. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also please don't forget to share your comments with us in the comment section down below. Until we see you in our next video, please take good care of yourself. Bye bye!